What's good, guys? Fantasy Joe back here with some more fantasy football content. Today, I am talking about breakout running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire and why I think he could be a league winner for you in, in fantasy football for the 2021 season. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave any questions or comments down in the comment section down below, and I'll respond as always. So let's talk about why Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is going to be a breakout running back this year. The reasons are Clyde Edwards had a promising rookie year, a lot more promising than people want to give him credit for. If you look at his stats, they're not nearly as bad as people make them out to be. Based off people's memories, because people are just going off of what they did, they saw him do in fantasy. But really, <clears throat> his utilization was much more than that when you break down the numbers. So he's averaging 14 carries per game, averaging 4.5 per carry. Those aren't bad numbers for a rookie by any means. Those utilization numbers are pretty solid. He only had 36 receptions in 13 games, which isn't great for what you thought you were going to get in him. I think that's kind of where he let owners down a little bit is in that passing game. But I think when you put that into context and look at the shortened offseason that he had because because of COVID and all of the uh, online learning they were doing, that type of thing, not real in pads, third down pass blocking work, uh, running out of the backfield, doing all those things that he's going to be able to do more of this season. I think that is the reason that he's going to make such a big jump is because he's going to have so much room to improve in the passing game. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think because he has so much room to improve, he's going to be used more on that third down basis. That's why they brought him here because they thought that's why they spent that first round draft pick on him. You have to remember, he's still a first round pick. He's going to be utilized. So let's say he gets a little bit more utilization than his rookie year. It goes from 14 to just 15 carries a game. And then can just start getting, you know, four receptions, four and a half receptions pretty consistently, which I think he's more than capable of. And then you put him in that Kansas City offense, those numbers are close. getting 20 touches a game in that backfield. Um, it's going to be miraculous for fantasy football. And I think just because he had a kind of a slow rookie year, you're able to get him at a big discount this year. And uh, the Kansas City offense this year, their offensive line, they reloaded this year. If you look at their left tackle, they traded for Orlando Brown. They signed Joe Thune in free agency, paid him a ton of money. He's probably the best offensive lineman on the market less last offseason outside of maybe Trent Williams, uh, the tackle. But a very talented player that they're going to get to plug in in probably a guard spot. Maybe they play him a tackle, but that becomes less likely with the signing of Orlando Brown. And then they drafted Humphrey. Uh, the center from uh, Oklahoma in the second round this year. He is a very promising center who's supposed to be, you know, a 10 year player at the position. Obviously, that's, you know, more easier said than done when it comes to draft picks and that, and that, uh, things of that nature, excuse me. Um, but uh, I think that he is going to come in and be able to contribute at a high level. So then you look at their offensive line improving in a great deal. With three new starters, I think Clyde Hilaire, You know, he wasn't able to punch the ball in the red in the end zone a bunch in the red zone in 2020. I think in 2021 with these offensive line improvements, I think he'll improve a little bit more, get settled more in the offense. He'll be able to run a few more balls into the end zone. I think he'll get plenty of opportunities in this Kansas City offense to do that. And then when you look at his increased passing volume as well, I think this is the reason Clyde Hilaire can have a fantastic year this year, and why I'm drafting him everywhere I can this year. And I think you should, too, if you want to win your league. If you made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe. Stick around. Uh, I'll bring you, be bringing more content like this. So, yeah, stick around. This is Fancy Joe signing off. See you guys.